Hello Bahamas, it's tea time. I'm Karen. And I'm Ian. Today we will be continuing some of our lost industries and more creative ways in which we as a Bahamas can propel ourselves in the 21st century. Yes, so sit back, relax, grab your tea and enjoy. It's tea time Bahamas. Welcome back to Tea Time. I'm Karen. And I'm Ian. We've been discussing for a few weeks our lost industries and how we can boost our economy at this time. Now, when I was thinking back at some of the things that we can bring back to the Bahamas, I thought about when mommy and daddy used to grind the corn. Now, people go into the food stores and they see yellow grits, but that's not the authentically made or grown corn. Sometimes you go to the um, takeaway and you say, I don't want white grits, I want the yellow. That's not the real corn. So how do you think we can bring that back? You think there's hope to bring that back? Because we don't even see corn in people's yard anymore. Everyone wants instant stuff. They don't want to grow their own, you know? So how do you think we could, we could implement something like that again? The thing about it is, Karen, is this. Um, we as a nation with our mindset, mm -hmm. we have to know where we have been to know where we're headed. That's very important. Yes, it is. You know, I grew up with my grandmother, and I like, they like to call me an island boy. Mm -hmm. Growing up with your Grammy, you know, most of the things that she would have done, yes. you would have been right next to her, so she would have been showing you a lot of things. Yes. Um, when they shook the corn and they grind the corn mm -hmm. and made it fine, and that corn, that when they grew, it was so fine that when you, when you cook that grits, that was so filling. You can taste the difference mm -hmm. in the corn. When you eat it, it gave you substance because it was Healthy. natural. It Healthy. was organic. Mm -hmm. This was a fact. You know, mama them knew about farming in their backyards. Mm -hmm. They had fields. We had peanut fields and all here in the country. You serious? What? Peanut? Peanut. My grandmother used to grow peanuts. They had to call it a peanut farm. Wow. In the sun. They used to be, they used to do the peanuts in the in the sun. You serious? I'm dead serious. They the good old things, you know. They the great but things. But we we just ignore it and we like instant stuff. Karen, we like I, artificial stuff. We Karen, like imported stuff. Karen, look at it from this perspective. You know, the, inf the information today mm -hmm. is we have to know where we've been to know where we're headed. True. Mm -hmm. So the old people knew the way, but we have gone away from that. We knew about our teas. We had our lime tea, sour soap tea, pear leaf, pear leaf tea, mm -hmm. all of these different kind of teas you could have had. You had your sour sea tea, which is just yuck right off your fans of and you course. go boil them. Mm -hmm. And those things clean you out. Those bitters was good for you. Mm -hmm. Those bitters keep all kind of cold away from you. And these are the things as island people. Mm -hmm. This is the paradise that we have been given. Of course. Other from those metropolitan cities that don't have these trees all around, what we call the ecotourism. Mm -hmm. So we have vast lands with a lot of um, indigenous trees and stuff like that that are actually healthy. Yes. Of and course. we need to go back to those things. That's why these people are living to be 100. 100. Don't, don't go there. I have, <laughs> a, I have an aunt today. Mm -hmm. Hi, Annie Millie. How are you? Hi. Annie Millie is 104 years old. You serious? An Exuma woman. And anybody that from knows... From the soil. From the soil. And anybody that knows Millie knows that she's still farming in the yard. And she still can beat you if she walked from here to the end of the corner. Mm-hmm. And she food. in a sound mind. Mm-hmm. It's what you consume. She said, son, you have to remember the soil. Mm -hmm. You got to grow your little things in the back of your yard. You don't have to do it all one time. Mm -hmm. A little at a time, you could finish the race. I believe we, like God, gave us these things. Healing is in plants, fruits, vegetables, whatever. He gave us the tools to help us while we're on earth. But then we go against that. We go and we get artificial stuff, but it's right in the soil. That's we, what I believe. It's right in the soil. Karen, I, I'll tell you this, Karen. In light of everything that we see is going on in our nation or the globe, mm -hmm. the Bahamas finds itself in a position where we have to then say, it's about Bahamians, it's about the Bahamas, yes, and that comes first. Yes. We have to support the local businesses. Mm -hmm. We have to support the authentically Bahamian things. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, love the, I love the wear that you're wearing right now. Thank Look at it. it. It has the Bahamas, the George Prince on it. It's very beautiful. Yes, Bahamian pride. I, I, must, say, girl. I must say thank you to Miss Bryce, the, the vendor on the beach. She said, I need you to wear this shirt. That's lovely. Because you love the Bahamian things. Look at mm -hmm. the shirt. It says, it's better in the Bahamas. And to tell you the truth, Karen, it truly is. It is. It's just that sometimes we don't believe it, but it is. Folks, on that note, we'll take a break. Don't touch that dial.
Welcome back to Tea Time. I'm Karen. And I'm Ian. For you viewers that are tuned in and you missed the first half of the segment, we want to bring you up to speed. We were discussing uh, corn. We were discussing how persons used to plant things back in the islands. Yes. And we need to get back to our roots, Karen. Mm -hmm. Now, Ian, let's go under the sea. Let's see what we have in the Bahamas under the sea. Well, Karen, it is funny that you would say something like that. You know, because I think that not even, not just that I think, I know, mm -hmm. this is certain, that the Bahamas has one of the richest marine life in the world. I agree. In the world. I agree. When you travel to the various different nations and you find that their waters, they have waters. Some of the waters might be dark. Yes. The sands may be gray. You can't see. The fish, the sea life, there is none. They depleted it. They eat out the sea life. There is none. And then when I fly home into the Bahamas, oh, yeah. and I have 700 islands, mm -hmm. it's very important for us as a nation to also, once, once we're marketing the Bahamas, to say out there to the viewers and the persons that are watching, the Bahamas has 700 islands. That's right. That's a blessing. That is a blessing. We don't have just one island. This is paradise. This is That's paradise. What we say. Okay, and then so much species of fish we have under... The water. The water. For example, the grouper. Where else can you find the grouper, the Nassau grouper? Well, the Nassau grouper is only found here in, exactly. in, in the Bahamas or uncharted waters like, like the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. That is conducive for that particular kind of fish. Mm -hmm. You know, the other day, um, somebody sent me a video snapping. One was from Exuma, the other one from Long Island. Mm -hmm. And I saw a bluefin tuna. A bluefin tuna. Yes. While I was in Maine at one point in time, I don't know if you ever watched the, the show, it's called Deadliest Catch. Yeah. The tuna, they tell mm -hmm. you the price of the tuna based on the fat that is abstracted from yeah. the actual tuna. Mm -hmm. Then in the back of Inagua and places like Maguana, mm -hmm. that ocean view, they said at a certain time, those particular fishes just pass through the channels. Wow. So what about the industry? Are we taking advantage of our fishing industry? And um, we find a lot of people coming into our waters to try, you Poach. know, pull, right, get mm -hmm. our stuff. Is the reason why they know that we have very good quality our sea life is perfect the type of species under there is perfect they come and they try to get our crawfish grouper snapper everything so it's obvious that there's something under there that people want billions of dollars is our water mm -hmm. billions billions literally so i say to you is this there are some nations that do not have these particular things mm -hmm. as easy or accessible as we in the Bahamas do. Yes. When you think about exporting, like some of our people from the Spanish Wells, mm -hmm. some people from Long Island, those particular places, and even Abaco, Morse Island. Yes. Those persons export the fish life out of the country. Oh, yes, I know for sure. A container of lobster, let's say a 20 foot container that is sent from the Bahamas mm -hmm. to the UK in a refrigerated container. That is millions of dollars. Yep. But a lot of people don't know that they can provide other countries with food. Fish, with food, yes. But that is food. Mm -hmm. The thing about it is if, if the world right now says there's no food, the Bahamas can go in the dock and throw out a line mm -hmm. with the bait and they can catch a fresh fish. I believe we're going back to that, you know. Listen, I like to go, when I'm on an island or even I'm right here sometime, mm -hmm. me and a few of my friends, we just go out on the rock and we throw out our lines mm -hmm. and we catch fish. Simple is just as easy as that. Yeah. Some nations doesn't have that um, that they advantage that. Yeah. to do that. Yeah. In the Bahamas, we have to understand the resources that we have in our country and take advantage of them. A lot of times we see the problems, but we need to start focusing on the solutions That's rather right. than the problems. Right. The reality of this, the reality of that is this. Just like I said to you with the bluefin tuna, persons up in Maine and different things like that once they check the fat, yes. that one bluefish tuna that I saw in the picture would have been worth somewhere between fifty and to $20,000 per fish. Wow. 20, say it again, say it again, one more time. Fifteen to 20000 per fish. The big bluefin tuna. Wow, that's unbelievable. We really have a lot under our sea. Our country itself, rich. Has, it's a rich country. Very you rich. Know, we shouldn't be suffering in any way because it's right there. Natural resources, Very right rich. there. I think, that, I think that we should, we as a nation of people have to see our way forward mm -hmm. and if there is a if there is a blockage you one can't do it that's fine mm -hmm. find five of your friends 
y'all get together and y'all pull in the resources to make it happen. No one man is an island. You know, we had that saying from we were young. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The reality is, is that when tough time come, that doesn't always last. Right. Just the resilient, tough people. Yep. So we have to get together as a people and said, you know what? Me buying this versus when the Chinese shop, they shopping as an conglomerate. Mm -hmm. They're spending a million dollars. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's about 15 of those. They put up together the money and 15 of them, they buy wholesale. They get the price cheaper because they're buying volume. Why aren't the Bahamian businesses or the Bahamian people thinking like that? I think it's a, probably our culture. I don't know. We need to change that because we won't survive. It has really to change, Karen. It has to change. And when will it change? Well, the mindset of the people have to change. You know, some people have a saying, when crisis come, that breeds opportunity. That's There's right. A, crisis is opportunity. Who said that, Dr. Miles Monroe? Said. Crisis is opportunity. And that was a long time ago. Yes, he did. And some people still didn't listen. And now yeah. we're caught in this position where we have to now think of creative ways to boost our economy, to, to feed our families and all that. So we need to take heed to things and um, just try our best to do what we could do. You know? The late Mr. Monroe had a vision in terms of what he foresee. Mm -hmm. The Bahamas has gifted people before their time. If the Bahamian people understand the ability that they have as a nation, mm -hmm. we can be what we want to be because this is the place where God lies himself. That's true. Well, you've been watching another episode of Tea Time sponsored by Games and Things, Games and More, Sell All, Mommy's Johnny Cake, Doc's Pharmacy, and National Treasures Bahamas, who provided us with these beautiful cups once again. Take care. It's Tea Time, Bahamas.